Last week in Starkville, the catch struck early. Andre Woodson hitting Keenan Burton. And then a tremendous catch in the end zone by Dickie Lyons. On the ground, Alfonso Smith ran for 92 yards. Woodson threw for 284, and he now has 18 touchdown passes on the season to lead the SEC. The defense cranked it up. Braxton Kelly turning in a top performance at middle linebacker, and the Cats come up with three more turnovers. Today, the Georgia Bulldogs come in for homecoming. Bulldogs have got it now first and 10 of the Wildcat 25 as we have played only two and a half minutes in this game. Georgia threatening. They put Danny Ware in a tailback. He's knocked down by Myron Pryor. Offensive staff's hoping for the same thing today, Rob. Now here's Woodson to throw on the first offensive play for Kentucky, and he's got Alfonso Smith out of the backfield and all the way to the 34. The first incompletion that Woodson has thrown. He's three for four, 21 yards. Third down and six here from the 49, and Woodson trying to run for the first down. He's got it. Down to the Georgia 43-yard line. Or, or try some type of 58-yard field goal. Spotted out of the 38, Luna Sieber from 48 yards. He's got it. And the Wildcats are on the board first. And we aren't even through the first quarter yet. He's had seven carries. Doesn't get much this time. Just have completed his run to the other end zone. But he didn't. He tried to drive it, and it was picked off. And they give it to their fullback, and he will not go anywhere. Brandon Sutherland is two wide receivers, not each side of the field. That's a nice ball. Keenan Burton here at the near sideline. Receivers to the left and one here to the right. David Jones. Woodson throwing over the middle. And he's got Dickie Lyons Jr. Lyons slips a tackle and goes down to the 26-yard line. On the media watch this week. Second down and seven yards to go following a gain of three. Woodson to the near side of the field. And here's Tammy. Tammy down the sidelines inside the 10. Second down and goal at the five. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. That's Keenan Burton. Woodson. Touchdown. Keenan Burton. And the fullback, Brandon Sutherland. I don't know if he got it. I don't think he got it. After holding on fourth down. Georgia leading 14 to 10. We still got 548 to go here first half. Woodson, Burton. Keenan Burton going up and pulling it down. Georgia back right up against its own goal line. Stafford throwing out of the end zone. It's intercepted. Looked like Johnny Williams picked it off. 48 points. He's not in, so I don't guess he's getting it this time. Second down and goal now the two, and this pass will be tipped and picked off in the end zone. Oh, and a big defense. He record at three and three and go over 500 overall on the season at five and four. Burton from right at his own goal line. Finds a hole, makes his way down the sidelines and is driven out at the 33 yard Leading line. to a Georgia touchdown. The other denying Kentucky a possible touchdown. Throwing on first down to Dickie Lyons. He's over the 40 and close to the first down marker over at the far side of the field. It's at the 42, so call it third down and three. Alfonso Smith threw a hole down inside the 30 to the 25-yard line. First and 10 from the 20 as Georgia sends a couple of receivers to the left and one wide out to the right. Lumpkin. Not much running room at all as... And this Commonwealth Stadium crowd coming to life here on third and nine. They keep it on the ground to Lumpkin, and he goes nowhere. He loves it, and he wants the ball. He wants the ball in his hands. Cats have got it at their own 36, first and 10. And Woodson able to maneuver out of trouble, and now he'll run with it over the 40. And he goes out of bounds, very close to midfield. From the 29 now. That was a gain of two, second down, eight yards to go. Stafford now trying to is. find his way out of trouble, and he can't do it. Penalty marker goes down. Dominic Lewis. Mario O'Reilly hammered by Myron Pryor. 
fourth down and two. Woodson. Curtis Pulley. First down of the 25 yard line. Woodson under center as the Cats work out of a staggered eye here. Woodson looking into the end zone. Under pressure, got it away, and touchdown! Keenan Burton gets his second. And here's the junior, Andy Bailey, with the conversion. And it's blocked. And that keeps it at a three-point game. Oh, they give it to Dixon. He's got the first down inside the 40-yard line. Tony Dixon's down to the 35-yard line of the Second and goal down to the Georgia three-yard line. Kentucky trailing, trying to take the lead here in the final minute and a half. Dixon to the goal line. Touchdown. Wildcats have a couple of timeouts left. First and 10 from the 48. Stafford back to the air. Overthrown and picked off. Picked off by Trevard Lindley. And Commonwealth Stadium here in Lexington explodes. The dogs 24-17. And the goalposts uh, here to our right, Bill, that is going to go down. <laughs> you got to love it. It's not going to take much yep. more. They're working on it. Maybe it won't go down as they've got the security in there now all around the post, and they're trying to... Get what appear to be students down off uh, the crossbar. Let them go. 24-20. Kentucky has knocked off Georgia for the first time in 10 years. What a great feeling. What a good win for this Kentucky team. Putting them at five and four. Vanderbilt next week. That's within reach. Vandy, you know, going to be somebody that they're going to have to deal with, obviously. It's not going to be just a walk in the park. But again, a oh, very winnable game. And Louisiana Monroe again here. Two more home games out of the last three. Kentucky setting really good right now as far as being good, looking at a bowl game, Rob. Adam, and, Adam and Ritchie. He's up there on the post. <laughs> I'll tell you, they're going to stay down on the field, Bill, and enjoy this one for a little while. Roger Williams there, 35, who had a big pick in this game right before halftime. He came up with the interception that was deflected. And the fans continue to swarm the field as Kentucky wins over Georgia here in Lexington. Coming from behind. In the last five minutes to pull it out, 24-20. We'll be back to wrap it up after this. Put on the plus one side on the turnover margin again. You can't say enough about it. I think it's one of those things that you got to give a great, a lot of credit both to offense and defense. And you know they did everything they could do, and it's a, it's just a wonderful win for the for the Kentucky program. The Wildcats go to five and four on the season. Certainly, we continue to wish and hope and pray for the best for Mario Rayleigh. George's wide receiver who was injured here in the second half. To wrap it up, let's go down on the field to Drew Diener. Drew? Well, guys, in the open, we talked about the fact that this season was going to turn one way or the other after this game. Twelve times in the last 21 years, they've been 4-4 four and four coming into their ninth game of the season. 4-4 four and four or better. Well, it took as dramatic of a turn as we've seen in a long time. Now you figure with the game of Louisiana Monroe, Vanderbilt both at home before the season finale of Tennessee, Kentucky has put itself in position to win six and possibly seven games. Who knows what the way this season may turn out. But this is the type of win that people around here have been asking for for quite some time. Will it happen next week? We'll have it here for you here on the Big Blue Sports Network. Kentucky and Vanderbilt as Kentucky tries to get bowl eligible. They come into that with five. Vandy could be the sixth win. We'll see if they can pull it off. Check your local listings for the game time in your area. The Cats win it over the Dogs 24 to 20 for Bill Ransdell, Rob Bromley, and all of us here on the Big Blue Sports Network. I'm Drew Diener as the goalposts come down at Commonwealth after a victory over the Georgia Bulldogs. We'll see you next week. University of Kentucky Wildcat football has been presented by your Kentuckiana Ford dealers. Ford, built for the road ahead. Today's game was also brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices. By Windstream, UK's hometown voice broadband and digital TV provider. And by the Whitaker Bank Corporation. Uniquely Kentucky. This UK game on Wave 3 is brought to you by H.H. Gregg, Dodge,